Hello, Aquarius. How are you doing? Welcome to Salovey Tarot. Let's take a look and see what's going on with you during this amazing, phenomenal time. Let's take a look at love here. All right, check out the description box below if you're interested in a personal reading about your person, about your situation, and what steps to take moving forward with your lover. <laughs> All right, follow me on TikTok or what is it? Instagram, but TikTok, if you haven't, and subscribe if you haven't. I would appreciate it. What is the vibe for my Aquarius? What's going on? Forbidden here. So do I. And rekindle. All right. There's lies here. What is that? For some of you, it's like I'm constantly offering this person some sort of love, but this person keeps on pushing me away. I feel like someone here is not being very honest with their emotions. They're not being very forthcoming or straightforward with their emotions here. Um, it's interesting. I feel like there's someone here that you're connecting with that have has been in this energy of possibly pulling back or has been cold. And you know and you feel that this person is not being honest with themselves and they're not being honest with you. There's something that may be going on within this connection at this time that requires some sort of conversation, some sort of honest conversation, okay? I feel like for some of you, you're looking at this situation and you're saying to yourself, you know what, I feel like this person is shutting me out. There's someone here that's blocking you, kicking you out, shutting you out, throwing you out. It, it's a very strong energy of this person will try to pull me in, you know, we'll have a very passionate connection, passionate conversation, something that really, really um, brings me back into this place of knowing that this is real, that this is something that I should work towards. But then this person pushes you away. And I feel like deep down, Aquarius, in your intuition, there's something that keeps telling you, maybe I should be honest with myself and realize that I'm not able to open this person up or I'm not able to get this person currently to tell the truth here. Um, now, I feel like, again, a lot of you know, you know that there's a lot of hope and there's a lot of future energy with this person. But in the current energy, I do see someone here pushing you away. They may um, possibly block you or this person's not really opening up with love. There could have been some sort of disagreement or misunderstanding where this person is now shutting you out. Um, interestingly enough here you two will rekindle okay you two come together you two have a conversation um and again i get a very strong vibe of a cycle happening here so for some of you it's like we constantly do this so love you we will argue or will not talk or will not uh really see eye to eye or you know i'll lose trust in this person and feel like they're not being open and then the next minute um I'm open again. I'm trusting this person again. I'm going back into that cycle here, okay? But there's something within this energy that seems to be... It, there's like something that I feel like my Aquarius is, are avoiding within this situation. There's, It's like, I know I shouldn't be doing this or someone feels like they shouldn't be doing something. It could be because they have other people or they could know in the back of their mind that they're cheating or in the back of their mind, they know that they should not be doing something particular or you're asking this person to take some sort of risk with you, whether it's moving, traveling, um, coming to visit you or, you know, just opening up and that person's not doing it. So I do get this like resistant vibe in this reading. All right. But still spirit is saying that there's still hope here for some of you. It's like, I don't know if I feel like, I feel like I, if I let this person go, this person will never come back to me. And that's not what I'm getting here. Okay. I feel like, yes, for some of you that are in separation, this person becomes very lonely. This person starts to reminisce. They start to feel very apologetic about the way that they were very aloof and cold and um, not transparent. And this person comes back in. But I wonder, Aquarius, and this is just a general question. Do you trust this person? Because I feel like there's an energy of, although I feel like there's hope, I may be lying to myself, all right? And that's that's for some of you, right? It's like, I know that there's still hope. I know that this is something that could work out, but this person keeps on hurting me. 
This person keeps on pushing me away. This person keeps on knocking me on my feet, knocking me down and making everything around me um, harder than it needs to be. And I feel like for some of my Aquarius, you're very good with this energy here. here let's try to pick that up. With this energy here of not showing people exactly what it is that you're going through. Like, I'm very good at hiding it. I'm not telling my friends. I'm not telling my spouse. I'm not telling people around me. I mean, I'm getting advice, but it hurts more than I show. Okay, there's something that's extremely painful within the situation. And when you are alone, you know, you think about how deep this connection is, but you also think about how deep the pain is as well. And at times you feel like you know that this person's not being honest with you. Um, but one of the main things I'm just really focused on is how you may be concealing some of your pain, some of your hurt, some of the anxiety that you may be going through because of this situation. Okay? Again, I do see you two reconnecting again. But Spirit is saying, be honest with yourself. Don't lie to yourself. Um, for some of you, it's like ever since I've been holding on to this person or holding on to the situation mentally, spiritually, everything around me has been just crumbling, right? I can't focus on me. I can't focus on, um, you know, joy. I can't focus on these things because there's just so much pain. Um, and I'm just here to tell you that spirit is saying, please open up yourself and be honest with yourself, okay? But again, moving into the future, a lot of you here are going to reconnect with this individual. Let's see what we could expect. First thing I want to actually check is how this person feel about you. How do they feel about my Aquarius? All right, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. All right, how does this person feel about my beautiful Aquarius? How do you feel? What is the vibe? Oh, this person is, why are they doing this? This person's resisting your energy. Let's get a reason on that. <laughs> All right. This person could be a parent or this person could be an Aries that you're connecting with or a Leo Sagittarius. Um, I'm getting a lot of fire energy here. But again, this person could be a parent and this person could be someone here that's highly focused on work at this time, highly focused on the themselves. OK, um, I feel like this person definitely has a lot of love for you, but I feel like they feel like you're giving up on them. And whenever they start to feel like you're giving up on them, that's when they start to pull a little closer to you here. But I want you to realize that this person could be someone here that's guarded for a number of reasons. There's um, a number of reasons why this person's not allowing this love to flourish here. Um, it's so interesting. Okay, for some of you, you're connecting with someone here that has a lot of love for you. Okay, Cancer, Capricorn, Cancer, uh, Pisces, or Scorpio that you're connecting with. Um, look at this. It's like the minute that you start giving up on this person, the minute that you actually start to pull away and say, all right, you know what, I'm, I'm not doing this anymore, and you start to free yourself and you start to create that energy of wanting and um, elaborating into your freedom, or indulging in your freedom, I should say, this person comes in. It's like they come in, they're manifesting you, they're constantly thinking about you here. I feel like this person feels like you are possibly releasing them and you're letting them go. That's how I feel like they feel about you. They feel like you've had enough. Some of you could be a Taurus or connecting with a Taurus. Someone here is just fed up. Like, I'm so tired of trying to get someone to let me into their home and let them let me into their life let me into their heart so i feel like that's why at times you don't trust this person here okay either way here i'm seeing a lot of communication with the page of wands here communication coming in the desire to connect with you the desire to speak with you the desire to get closer to you just make sure it's equal Aquarius. Make sure that when this person is having this desire to be close to you, that they're allowing you to be close to them. And again, um, Spirit is saying that this is someone here at times that has other priorities or there's something that this person needs to deal with. I do see mental, you know, things going on here or addictions happening with this person or anxiety. And I feel like this is something that this person tries to run from. There's a lot of fears in this person's energy, but overall we cannot dismiss how much this person just wants you. It's like they want you so bad in their energy. And I'm not saying that for you to 
run back towards this person or get back into a place of you being shut out. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that this is how this person feels. But it's important for you to ask yourself, well, they feel this way, but are they consistent? Are they loving? Are they honest? Like, are they all of these things that I need in a relationship? Look at this. I'm struggling to open up myself to you. This is someone here that's struggling here, struggling to open up, struggling to see, right? Look at this person. And I'm going to say this for some of you. Look how this person has their eyes closed. At times I wonder, is it all about them? Or is this person able to open their eyes and see exactly what you may be feeling and what you may be going through or how they are making you feel alone? And I feel like this relationship could have been one-sided, if you understand what I mean. Extremely one-sided. All right? I'm hiding my true feelings. I'm struggling. I'm hiding. All of this hiding and struggling stuff, it really gets a bit um, draining to some degree. And it really starts to project and starts to manifest in your life, Aquarius. Ask yourself, ever since I've been dating this person, how's, how's my mental st status? You know, how's my emotions? Answer those questions. And then we have, I miss you. I miss you more than you realize. I'll talk to you soon, Aquarius. Okay. So you could also follow me on TikTok. All right. Uh, Instagram. All of that will be below. All right. And if you're also interested in a personal reading, all of that is below as well. Thank you so much for your love and support.